Hi guys, Seamus here. Back again with an old build. Um, the Steady Stobert. This one here. I'm going to try and get this one all knocked out. So we've got all our chassis done, all our lights on it, minus our resistors. So can't wire it up just yet. Um, our trailer's done, set to one side. I still have to put all the livery over it. So the livery's pretty big, as you can see. There's the livery for the cab. So we've got the green kind of way as close as possible from the last video. I think it was part 9 I put up, which is the X70, XF70. It's a pretty close green. Um, as you can see here, actually. So, what side are we on here? It was on that side. Your door handle cut out for this type of shape here. Same for the opposite side. It has to be cleared yet as well. I did cut this door out. It wasn't intentionally going to hinge yet, so I don't know what to do just yet. I've only got a tape holding it in. Um, we got our wind deflector. That's to be painted. Um, our lights and so forth, light bars to go on, wing mirrors and a few other bits and bobs. Our interior, of all for what is in the box, I kept this one there bare minimum. I'm up for the colour to call for. Um, I might add some lights inside it just to highlight it a bit. We'll see what happens. But the main part is the chassis itself. That's all wired and all. The engine's in it. Um, there's all your wires for your tail lights and so forth. Your twin steer, or sorry, your steering's working. Um, these are for your front headlamps. Um, these are for your side markers. It's on the side ferns, which are here. You two orange amber SMDs, and same for this side as well. It's just a dab in a type of a Tamiya clear orange. I lights in the back to get all your number plate, our number plate like this in it actually. And a few other things you want, mud flaps and so forth. And we highlighted the engine somewhat. Still a few wee bits and pieces has to be painted on, but we'll get to it soon enough. Um, got our front severing on the front here, bit of a pain getting this on. And all our bodies had to go on as well. Got our two headlamps in there just behind the lenses. So we're going to be cracking on this here, as well as, as the other builds, the Golf, cars from our past, uh, Chris Tor Cortell's Celebration of Life, uh, P15 Mustang, and I've just got this one painted today. This is um, four of six of the Escorts, we've done the three uh, rule going versions last week. So this will be the Lombard Rally version, so we've just got it in the paint. We we'll get it all uh, decaled up over the next day or two, and then we we'll give it an arc coat clear. That's this one here, this one. So it'll look nice with all that leverage all around it. So there's plenty of it, plenty of decals. And as you can see here, um, who's it printed by? I can't really see. Cartograph, I think it is. Yeah, so it should, should play ball. There's not much excess film around it, so should it lay down nice and neat, hopefully. But anyway, there you go, guys. Quick update on what's on the bench. So three on the go here, and another two yes coats to be done as well. Um, one is done blue, and the other one is done white as well. Dark blue, it's almost like a black, but we'll get that soon enough. Anyway, guys, there you go. So, thanks for watching. I'm gonna speak to you all later. Bye.